My name is Scott McLarty. I am the media coordinator for the Green Party of the United States. Welcome to the 11 a.m. press conference. Uh, we'll begin in just a second. Uh, I'll remind everybody that this is being broadcast live on the Green Party's live stream channel, uh, as was our 9 a.m. press conference, both press conferences and other events throughout this weekend at the Green Party's annual national meeting here in Alfred, New York, uh, are being archived at the Green Party's live stream uh, channel, and uh, we invite people to, uh, to, to view the, uh, the archived press conferences and other events, too. Uh, I'm now going to turn over the uh, program to George Friday, and uh, this is a press conference hosted by the National Women's Caucus. George. Thank you, Scott. Good morning. I'm George Friday. I'm the chair of the Women's Caucus, the National Women's Caucus, and we're proud today to highlight several female candidates for office, both locally here in New York, as well as um, in other parts of the country that provide models for the country and to encourage women to run as candidates, hopefully to inspire you if you're watching and you're a woman to run for a candidate as a Green and also to join the Women's Caucus. Um, to know that as a Green you will be participating with a party that supports your values and also understands that running for office does not have to be business as usual and running as a woman candidate means running a different kind of campaign. We understand that in the Women's Caucus and can support candidates. So we hope that you will be inspired to run by listening this morning to the women who are running. Who are running. Um, the first person we'll hear from is Cecile Lawrence. Cecile will soon, hopefully, be elected as Tioga County Legislator Representative for the 3rd District, which is here in New York. Cecile? I'm running for Tioga County Legislature in um, New York because I've become very frustrated. A lot of people who are at have become very frustrated with what's been going on in Tioga County for a long time. That is the mantra out there is that you can only win if you're a Republican. Republicans outnumber, registered Republicans outnumber Democrats two to one, and then the people who are registered green are much smaller than that. So what we're trying to aim for, what I'm trying to aim for, are those people who are unaffiliated, those people who are so upset with all of the, the main parties, the two main parties that, and they probably don't know about the Green Party, is that they have not registered with any party, but they are registered to vote. So I'm going to be aiming for those people, as well as for the people who are not registered to vote. I even have one of my neighbors on my street who is not registered to vote. So I'm going to be aiming for her. We have some major issues in Tiger County, as you may or may not know, Tiger County, uh, is on the border with Pennsylvania and already we're feeling the effects of fracking, hydrofracking for natural gas in Tiger County itself, in the village of Owego, which is right across from where I live. We have the sand trucks for, for blasting the sand into the wells, traveling along the highway. We have an increasing truck traffic, increasing traffic already along the of Route 17, I-86, right down the road from my house. Susquehanna River, a mile down the road from my house. Major problems there. So there are a lot of issues, but the main issue is jobs. And people in the current legislature are not talking enough about jobs. The way they see jobs is to use state monies, a state grant paid for by taxpayers to give to Tioga Downs for paying for a sewage treatment plant with the promise that Tiger Downs, will, which is a racino, will then bring in jobs. That's not the kind of thinking that, I, that we really want in Tiger County, and that's why I think we need a different kind of voice. I will probably, as far as I know, be the first person of color to be running m for office in, for the Tiger County Legislature. There are very few, there are two women on it now, but they're very, very conservative, and they play the game well, and I am, aiming to disrupt this game and turn over the tables and turn over the chairs and bring a new attitude for people in Tioga County and make them see that a green candidate can win in an area where I have been told you cannot win as a green. And I wanted to say to that person, who made you God? Uh, so I am going to do my best to run a strong campaign and I have, what I like about the Green Party is that unlike 
other part is I feel I have a lot of support. This is a real grassroots party, and that's why, in addition to the Green Party, um, supporting the principles that I personally and politically support, that I know I have the support of a lot of good people. Thanks. Thank you so much, Cecile. We're going to hear from all of our candidates before we take on questions. But Cecile raised what is common that you'll find in candidates that run as Greens. And that is that we are addressing local problems with innovative solutions. The priority isn't a corporation or profit, but values and people. Uh, the next speaker that we'll hear from is Sherry Honkala. And Sherry is the first woman to run for sheriff in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. She's also the first candidate nationally and the only candidate that's run on a zero evictions platform. So Cecile spoke about fracking, which is a huge problem locally in many communities. Everyone in every community has to deal with ev evictions. And Sherry can model for other candidates running for sheriff the zero evictions platform. Talk to us about that, Sherry. My name is Sherry Honkala, and uh, as George said, I'm running for uh, sheriff in Philadelphia. I'm the first woman who has ever run, and I'm running as the people's sheriff. And if I'm elected at, actually when I'm elected sheriff, um, I will refuse to throw families out of their homes. Um, for um, 25 years, I've worked across the entire country uh, with poor and homeless families, been a part of shaping the movement of the Kensington Welfare Rights Union and the Poor People's Economic Human Rights Campaign. And in those 25 years, I have not seen the kind of devastation that we're facing now as a country. Both Democrats and Republicans are responsible for the misery that we're facing right now in this country. And every 13 seconds, a family is going into foreclosure, and there's over one million homes that will be lost this next coming year due to foreclosure. I'm running on a platform of zero evictions because I think the idea of throwing men, women, children out on the streets in our affluent country in the year 2011 is outdated. And so when I say I will not throw anybody out on the streets, I will not throw anybody out on the streets. My run is not just a run that affects people locally in Philadelphia. We as Green Party members and people that care about what's happening to people in this country have an opportunity to make history. We have an opportunity in November if we gather the kind of necessary financial resources, if we send people to Philadelphia to work on my campaign, if we get 1,600 people to the polls, to work the polls, we will, on election day, be able to stop evictions in the United States of America in one t place in this entire country. I need your help. I need your money. I need your time. I need access to whatever media outlets that you might have. Um, we're asking people to hold house parties. Um, to send groups of students to work on the campaign. And we believe that this is just a larger part of building a national movement that says no, no to foreclosures. And we're going to begin to see across the country people beginning to run as sheriff uh, and doing the same kind of thing in their towns and in their cities and across America refusing to throw families out of their homes. Together we can smash this one party system and begin to ignite and give visibility to a party that is necessary in this country. This year is a time for the Green Party to make history. Join my campaign. Let's together stop families from being thrown out on the streets. Thank you. Yeah. What a powerful statement coming from my green sister from Philadelphia. Certainly there is uh, time that we end the shame, even end the blame, by forcing the Republican and Democrat two-headed snake to accept responsibility for the crisis and move out of our way because the green machine is on the move. Right. <laughs> 
I'm Colby Clark, and I am running for the United States Senate for the second time from New York State. And I'm proud to be running on the Green Party line. Proud because the Greens represent not just the wave of the future, but the future that is standing in the doorways of the United States of America, pleading with the United States, let us in while the Republicans and the Democrats come forward, can't even pass a national budget without killing off themselves and, and creating a right-wingism in this country that is frightening. Frightening for people who are in prisons, frightening for immigrants, frightening for mothers with babies, frightening for elders and seniors, frightening for people who are being thrown out of their homes because there is no zero eviction, but are also thrown out of their homes because they've lost their jobs and their sources of income. Frightening for those men and women in the United States who are often overlooked, who are either unemployed or never employed, and frightening for public service workers and unions. I will be going to the Congress. And when I enter those Senate halls, those uh, ancient Senate halls, <coughs> all of the enslavement that I did through. I will be there to end any vestiges of that for the future. I'll be there talking about a new education option. We need a new education option, a national option that also reflects the state so that our children, our children have a sustainable future through an education that educates them to survive, not just look for a job. We need agriculture. We need home economics. We need shop and, agri and, and industrial education. We need the arts. We need uh, music and drama and sports all returned to schools that they have been snatched out of. But we need the public sector to be funded. <coughs> we need universal education. All of our children have a right to the tree of life, and we must establish that right. As American citizens, we must demand not excuses from the Congress, but that the Congress pass legislation that gives universal education for every child in the United States, no matter where they come from. I will be running on a campaign that says, let's open our borders. Immigrants have rights, no matter where they come from. So we must open the borders for citizens of the world so that people may come in and work and that we may go out to work and that we must end the NAFTAs and the CAFTAs and other tariffs that create disasters in the lives of human beings all across the Western world. I will be running on an end all wars and bring all troops home. Do it now. But with the common sense, with the common sense that we, yes, we must build a peace. That means rebuilding the Libyas and rebuilding the Iraqs, rebuilding and reclaiming the Haitis that we destroy every moment as we sit here, as she faces one of the, another major hurricane. Hurricanes and earthquakes in America continues this devastation. I will be running on a campaign to pull the UN out of Haiti and America to recognize its role in uh, imperializing and destroying the image of the United Nations. I will be running on a campaign that says, yes, we can, yes, we must, and yes, we will organize a new deal for all Americans so that there's no question about whether or not one will have a livable source of income, a living wage, that jobs will be created, and that the Howie Hawkins idea of in New York State for a state banks be put in place so that we are not at the knees of Wall Street, and that Wall Street will repay us every penny of the money, because uh, we want to know not just that we paid us the initial, but where did Wall Street invest those dollars? We want every penny of that investment, because that's America's money. That is our money. <clears throat> America, we can lift ourselves up. We can end the present crisis by sending the two-head snake home and sending the Green Party on to, through the doors, to <coughs> open up a future of sustainable politics for all Americans forever. Right. <laughs>